Hey Tribe, Brad here from Australia, owner of Primal6. And if you are looking to know more about how to get Zoom and YouTube to communicate together so that you can then have YouTube links that are embedded into your website or to your app that play automatically when you actually start doing a Zoom call, you're on the right, uh, right video. I've just spent hours trying to work this out and I'm doing this for me first and foremost so I can remember how I actually bloody did it, but also for people that are interested in learning how to do this themselves. Uh, and I'm specifically putting this out to the passion community. If you're watching this on YouTube, you know what passion is. Passion is an amazing um, app building platform that I have built my holistic health app on called Primal6. So you'll see a lot more about that um, in the video and there's a link in the description where you can uh, you can learn Learn more about it. Um, it is an affiliate link. So if you do purchase it and you become a subscriber to it, then it'll be supporting me as well. So think of this video as something that it might help you on your journey. Anyhow, this is an important thing that I wanted to be able to set up to be able to communicate with my community more often, um, but to also have the power of using Zoom to be able to share screen and communicate and do all the sorts of things that we expect from doing with Zoom as opposed to a YouTube live where you can't do those things. So First few things you need here is number one, you need a Zoom account, but you need to be a paid pro subscriber. So meaning like you can pay yearly or monthly. I think you can pay monthly, but I've I've paid yearly for a pro account, a pro account. I think it's like about a hundred bucks US a year or something like that, but very well worth it for all of the extras that you get. Um, uh, and then there's no time limit with the free account where it stops at 45 minutes and then you got to keep restarting and all that sort of stuff. So second thing that you need is a YouTube account. So you need to be able to have a YouTube account. It needs to be enabled to do live streaming. So we'll go through all this process here in a sec. And then the third thing that you need is a website or an app or somewhere to embed the YouTube video. So let's get them all communicating together here now and we'll go through the process. I'll start sharing my screen. So what we've got is that one right there. Okay. So here's Primal6. This is my website um, for my app, Primal6.app. So if you want to learn more about Primal6 here, there's a short video and there's four ways that you can join it and a whole heap of extra information. But what we're going to do here first up is the first step we're going to do is once you've got a pro account with Zoom, so what you can then do with Zoom is you can go to zoom.us um, if you uh, if you don't have an account, create a free account there through that. And then if you go to plans and pricing, that's going to allow you to be able to then become pro. Second thing that you want to be able to do is we want to be able to go to YouTube Studio. Okay, so what you're going to be doing here is once you've gone to your actual business account and you've got it open, so you can see here I've got an up and coming um, video that's already been made and I've got a live replay that I just did before that went for 16 minutes that's sitting there ready to go. So this is my account, Primal Holistic Health. You're going to go up to the top right-hand corner profile. You're going to click on that and then you're going to go to, oh, you can't actually get it to it from there. So I'll just click on your channel to get away from that. Bring up my channel. There it is. Pause that video. Go back to here and I'm going to click on YouTube Studio. Then down the bottom left, you're going to click on settings. Then in this column on the left, you're going to go to channel. Then you're going to go to feature eligibility. And this is what you need to have enabled. Uh, in particular, number two is what you need to have enabled. And the only way you'll be able to do that is by verifying your phone number. If you don't want to do that, go to hushed.com, purchase a, a cheap international phone number that will allow you to receive the verification code that you need to be able to then make this all happen. But if you don't have any problems with that, whack it in there and then boom, you are after 24 hours, you should have an eligible um, uh, YouTube account. Now, the next step that we want to do here is we want to actually schedule a live uh, a live video, a live stream through YouTube. Now, the way, way you do that is you go up here to create, go to go live. And you can see here I've already got one that's upcoming. Okay, so the settings that I've already created this, it's great because it's going to make the whole process easier for me when I set up the new stream over here. But if you're doing for this for the first time, um, you'll just be having to enter, enter in all of these things raw. But I'll show you what I've got. So this here is one that I've already done and I'm going to reuse those settings. The details come up, the description comes up. So ongoing for new 
videos that I end up putting in. So every week you'll have to you'll have to do this process to be able to, or however often you're going to do it, you have to redo this process to be able to embed the video into your website or to your uh, to your app. Okay, so I'll, well, I'll give you an example. If I go here to my app, this is the desktop version here of my app. And if I go here to all of the different programs that I have available, I'm going to scroll down to where it says Primal Campfire. And you'll see here, I just did one today. I've got that one there. The video is there. I've put some show notes in there. If I push play, it went for 16 minutes and it's just all there ready to go. It's going to replay. It's all saved on YouTube, which is epic. I've then got another one here done, ready to go for next week. So you can see it says zero, zero. If I push play on it, it's going to say it's live in six days. And if they've got their YouTube account open, they can click on notify me and it'll give them notification. So I can encourage people to join me on Zoom or just to watch the live here in the app or the replay whenever they want, or if they even want to watch it through YouTube and participate in the live chat, I've put the, the actual link there to the video that's going to come up when we create it in a second. So let's pretend I'm putting up another one for the 10th of the 8th. So we're back to this process here before where we were at in YouTube. I'm creating another one there like that. I would put in the 10th of the 8th there, okay? I would go down through here. I would choose streaming software. There's three options that will come up. Just choose streaming software. Choose the category that you want. Put a thumbnail on there because that thumbnail image is what is going to show up here on top there. And then you want to be able to go down here and choose no. It's not made for kids. But if it is made for kids, it's going to turn off live chat. You click on next. You go through and select what you want through here. I left it all pretty much the way it is. I don't want to slow down message delay, you know, or anything like that. So I've just left it all like that. I've chosen unlisted because I've got this in a password protected paid area of my app. I don't want it to be private and I don't want it to be public. So it goes out onto YouTube so that anyone can see it. I'm then going to put the date and the time of when I want it to be on, which I've already done here, as you'll see here. And the next one's 9th of August at 12.30 p.m. in the daytime. So you can do that and then you just click on done and it's going to come up with a separate screen here that comes up with a whole heap of um, fancy codes and things. It might look a little bit hardcore when you first look at it, but it's okay. It's, it's not too bad. So stream key. Think of this as just your email login and password. We're going to be using these two lines worth of information that you can easily click on copy with to put that into the Zoom account that you've got so that they talk together. Okay, and then we're also going to be getting one last thing, which is a link up here, the link there to your actual video. So this is the new video that we've created. That link there is what you would copy and go to your app or your website. And for example, here in this particular instance with, um, with Passion, the way that I would do this is I would go to here and then I would, uh, one second, I'll just refresh that page there. Just going to refresh it. And with refreshing this page, it's going to allow me to then be able to copy. Oh, there it is there. Be able to go here and I'm going to be able to, oh, it's come up below there. That's a bit weird. I'll be able to clone it. And you'll see it says copy of Primal Campfire, blah, 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 blah. I can go up here and delete that and I can change the date. I can change this and I can go to the video and I can edit it and then go here to the link, delete that and paste in the new link and then click on add video. And if it's not gonna work there like that, let me just see if I can delete that fully and then repaste it. Now it's not gonna allow me to do it. So in this instance, then you would go to add content, lesson widgets, video, this is with passion, click on that, click there. I'm on a, a Windows computer, so I'm gonna click on Control V for paste, add video, then it's gonna come up. So I could go to here and remove that. And then I can go to here, rearrange that, drag it up. So this is a good way for people to be able to see on the save there like that. 
So that's it. But I don't need that one there. I'm going to delete this now because I don't want people to get confused. But that's how you would add your next week's um, you know, scheduled video call. So it comes up looking like that if someone wants to watch it. But if someone wants to want, watch one that's a replay, they can click on that and it's going to come up. I hope that helps there with that. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go back here to YouTube, but we need to get this communicating with Zoom. So you need to go to your Zoom account and log in. If you haven't already, you're going to go to personal and you're going to go to meetings. And now we're going to schedule a meeting on here because we want this meeting here to basically meet up with what you've done within YouTube. Now, I've already got one set up that's recurring. So I'm not going to set up a new one and go from scratch. I'm just going to show you how I've done it. I'm going to go to edit. And I've mimicked the information that's in the topic and the description of YouTube with here. And these are the things that I've set. You can play around with them, but I've chosen recurring meeting, no fixed time. If you have daily, weekly, or monthly, then that means in your personal schedule on Zoom, like a calendar, it'll come up showing you all of the different calls that you're doing in case there's multiple people that need to see that schedule. But for me, I'm just going to have it like that. I didn't do anything with any of this. Uh, you can change the password or leave it as the generated one that comes up. I like to have the waiting room on to, to look at people that are wanting to come in. And then you click on save and save again. What's then going to come up is this section where it says live streaming. And here, there's a, there's a few different things that are coming up here that are really important to understand. In this details section, okay, this is a direct link that would send someone straight to the Zoom call that you're actually doing. So if you want to be able to give people access to go to the Zoom call, you can give them this link. Um, or you can, uh, when the Zoom call is actually on in the top left-hand corner, there'll be a green tick. And if you click on that, that'll also have an ability to be able to copy the link for that particular call. But what I've done, I chose to do is copy that link. I've then gone to um, a shortening of a, a, a URL shortening service called bit.ly. And I've shortened this link into this. So if I go to my app and go to here where it says how to join the conversation, you'll see here bit.ly, P6, campfire, blah, 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 blah. That is a shortened version of this ugly looking big long one. Now, whilst we're at this particular insert, this section here, you need to go to live streaming, okay? It's not gonna come up looking like that. It's gonna come up looking like this. This is where you now need to add in the stream URL and the stream key. You go back to YouTube, you're gonna copy the stream key, which is the password essentially. And then this is like your email login. Go through and copy both of those paste them in the right places. The last thing that you need to put here is, where is the actual link for the video that you've created on YouTube where Zoom is sending what we're you know, doing and talking about now? And that's essentially where you need to go to, sorry, up here, click there, click there. And that is what you would then paste here. And then you click save. We are pretty much almost there. You need to do this though. You need to go to personal and you need to go to settings because we do need to tell Zoom that we want to allow streaming to take place. It's just this extra step. I'm going to go to, there's a lot of stuff on this page. I think it might be in meeting advanced, maybe. Let's have a look. Can't find it. So I'm just going to do, oh, here it is. In advanced, in meeting advanced, allow live streaming of meetings. Click on that to turn it on and make sure that YouTube and custom live streaming service are also ticked. Very, very important. Now that you've got those done there, I'm just going to refer back over to my notes that I have here. Yep. Custom schedule meeting in Zoom. Yep. We've scheduled the meeting in Zoom. We've scheduled, we've done all that. Live streaming details, save. Yep. So now what you want to do is now that we've got it all ready to go, you've got Zoom and YouTube talking together and you've embedded the video here ready to go for the, the live Zoom that you're about to do. And we've got it set up here in YouTube so that it automatically starts when you turn it on and it automatically stops when you turn it off. 
Now it's time to be able to turn on Zoom. Now, I can't show you that now because I'm using Zoom right now, but you're going to turn on Zoom and you're going to go to your meeting section and then click on the scheduled uh, named uh, meeting that you've got, whatever it is. Mine was called Primal Campfire. I've clicked on Start. And when I've clicked on Start, it's just going to come up. Nothing's going on. Nothing's automatically going to happen just from doing that. In the bottom right where there's the buttons that say more, you need to click on that. And then you need to click on live on custom live streaming service. Boom. As soon as you turn that on, literally within seconds, this is going to start. This, this will, it, it'll go live to that. So if you push play on that and you're sort of sitting there for 30 seconds going, oh, is this working? Is this working? It's recording you already. It's already putting everything that you're saying onto there. Okay. So just you need to test it out and to see if it works. And I would highly recommend as well that you go through and that you test, uh, like actually test this first to see if the video works. But also know that people can communicate with you in two different ways. They can communicate with you through the live chat here on Zoom. And they can also communicate with you live. So if we go to YouTube here, um, once it's actually working, this analytics section, just to segue, the analytics section will come up with information talking about what's going on. But the chat will also come up here. So if someone chooses to talk to you on YouTube, it comes up on that section. So if you're going to be using it on a computer, it might be handy to be able to have YouTube open as well as Zoom. So if you've got multiple people wanting to chat to you at the same time, asking you questions, that's another way of doing it. But I would highly recommend what I'm wanting to do is, is getting questions in advance sent to me that people are going to be asking me. And I'll just show this as well here for people that know what passion is versus have never heard of it. Um, there's a community section, like a little mini Facebook messenger uh, within the primal passion, sorry, the, the passion platform. These are some different channels or you know mini groups that I've created. And I've made it so that if someone is a paid monthly subscriber, they are what are called a primate and they would go to Primal Campfire and they would write their questions in there for me. Hope that's a bit of help, guys. Um, I don't think I've left anything out. It's quite a lot of stuff there. It took me a bloody long time to work that all out. So, uh, yeah, leave some comments, whether you're on YouTube or on Facebook. Um, if you've got any questions, um, I'll do my best to get back to my pretty busy guy, but um, I hope this has answered a lot of it. Um, if you've got any other probs and, you know, what you see on the screen isn't matching up with what I've shown you, maybe things have changed in the future. So just Google it and type in what you want with, say, 2024, 2025 or whatever the year is to see um, if there are changes that now match up to what you're trying to do. Hope that helps. Have a great day.